Hi everyone, today I want to show you several new things in TCA user interface. First is the status panel here that replaces the old status string that was located at the top of the main window. The main benefit of the panel is that it allows you to see situation at a glance because it uh, shows all the statuses, all that, that happens uh, in parallel, while the status string uh, only showed the most important status. Uh, also, the panel expands on the statuses and situations that uh, TCA previously displayed. Uh, there are several rows of various indicators, uh, some of which uh, are shown only on planets, well, on planets, on moons, uh, not in orbit and some are common to both orbital and uh, planetary flight. Uh, indicators are of course shown or not depending on the availability of mod modules, TCA modules that uh, back them up uh, and uh, they may have several states, they may be ena enabled, disabled uh, they may indicate something or be in or be passive. Uh, several of the indicators also have sound alarms because they show you something important like possible collision with a building uh, and these alarms may be toggled on and off with this uh, toggle here. Okay, so let's see how it how it looks, how it works. First, I enable the auto throttle, and immediately the vertical speed control model kicks in. Then I enable hovering, and the altitude control model also kicks in. Uh, we still have this blinking indicator that shows us that we don't have any active engines nor RCS thrusters, so TCA basically have nothing to work with. I can enable RCS and it stops blinking or I could actually enable engines. Also for this particular craft I would like to enable VTOL control mode and it also has its own indicator on the panel. I probably want to make the spacecraft sound a little quieter. Okay, so let's start. We see that vertical takeoff and landing assistance works while we start, and then we have an indicator that uh, that is active whenever the stop program or anchor program is active. So I can overwrite with the keyboard uh, the stop program, but as soon as I release the keyboard, uh, the craft starts to decelerate. So that its horizontal speed effectively becomes zero. Also you see that the indicator of the possible collision with the terrain uh, becomes inactive uh, when horizontal speed is too low. But when it is active it may like like this. It may become enabled and you hear the alarm. Uh, 
what else do we got here? Okay, while it flies there, uh, the second addition, uh, or rather change, is that we now have a separate information panel that displays status strings uh, that previously were displayed uh, at the bottom of the main window. Uh, the panel is draggable, of course, so you can place it anywhere you like. And this allows to mostly keep the main window collapsed. I've also added uh, the timeout for showing and hiding collapsed main window so that you can pass the mouse through here without it op opening constantly. Here we have an indicator that shows us that we're in one of the several navigational modes where to say uh, decides where the ship goes. And now you see that to say lands uh, the craft uh, at this helicopter pod. And here the information panel showing the statuses that were previously here. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I thank you for watching. Keep uh, stay tuned.